I am uh, Chair of Penryn and Falmouth Food Bank and this is where our store is. A week ago this was completely empty, it's only due to a shop we did at the local cash and carry and also a response to a post I put on Facebook that has actually enabled us to have some food. It was empty because there's you know, what I would call the squeezed mid middle, the people that we uh, normally rely on to put food in the donations box, that they just don't have the money either. So the donations have gone down. There is a, a huge disparity in this community. We have the multimillionaires that live overlooking the sea. On the other flip side, you get people that are below the minimum wage. Very few that I would say would be middle incomers in Cornwall. There's going to be a critical point, and at that critical point, when we've you know we've run out of funds, at that point we won't exist. That would mean that all of these people that we help, this increasing number of people that we help, have nowhere to go. If people had reasonable prices for things and their wages were increased, or their wages were at least in line with inflation, then they wouldn't be facing the costs that they are now. But at the moment, those people are suffering and they are tightening their purse strings. And so therefore, persuading them to put things in a food bank box is becoming more and more challenging. Four years ago, my food bill would be between 90 and 100 pound a week, but now it's about 80 pounds every two days. We have four children, two of them have quite a lot of issues. And then my husband, he's just been diagnosed with EDS. He's always provided for his children and it's, he can't now. I started using the food bank during COVID. I just broke down and I said to her, we're struggling, Joe, can, is there anything you can help with? I've gone from volunteering for them to having to need them. Most of this is like from the food bank. Stuff like that, like most of this is what the food bank gave me just a few days ago because we got into quite a bit of a crisis then. With the food bank's help, this will probably last us about a week and a half. Me and Tim, we only have one meal a day. We ration ourselves so we don't have to do it so much for them. Like today, we had, our main meal was some egg and toast. Yum, yum. Teddy, what's yours? I'm making sure that my kids are growing with a nice Ted. And we go without so they have a normal life. Well done. We are increasingly seeing more and more local families who are working poor. They're working as many hours as they can, but because of the crisis out there at the moment, they're just finding it really difficult to keep their heads above water. My name is Richard May. Uh, I manage the Dracaena Centre in Falmouth. The main focus and aim, improving the well-being of our community with people of all ages. So with the, the rising cost of food, we are seeing a greater demand on not just our, our food services, because the, the, the food parcels that we give out and the affordable food that we provide in the cafe, that's not the answer. What that does do it, well, the feedback we get is people feel valued. And the other thing that we're seeing in growth, in, uh, a bigger growth in, is poor mental ill health and anxiety because there is a concern for the future. I think life at the minute, you literally just survive and you're not living. At home, I have me 20 month old baby, me partner and me. Unless the weather's good, you know, to take your child out for free, then you're not actually doing anything anymore because you can't afford to do anything. The rising cost of everything, not just food, but obviously energy bills, rent, that makes places like this 
a lot more important in today's society than they ever have been. They have facilities like the toy library, so you know, you can rent toys from here for very cheap. For me, like I said, getting out of a tiny flat with a child that has so much energy, it releases my stress levels and I know it does him. Places like this just give us a bit more leeway in life at the moment. And you know, everyone, it gives us a bit of support as well. We are seeing more and more people who are literally at the end of their tether. I heard one quote today from somebody who said that if they weren't here, they'd turn to crime. Our entire team here report more and more that if we weren't here, we just would despair on what the, what the outcome might be. If the food bank wasn't here, I'd probably have a criminal record. <laughs> I still stand by what they say. Beg, borrow and steal to make sure your children have their basic rights, their basic needs. Can mummy have a blue one? People are quite ashamed that they're to put their hands up and say, I'm struggling, we don't have food to feed our kids because of the, the stigma and the judgment of the outside world. And in my eyes, there is no judgment there for me. I won't react to people who say to me, well, if you can't afford to feed your children, why did you have children? And I'm like, well, I wasn't in a financial crisis. I didn't predict, I wasn't psychic. I can't predict what was happening now. I hope that in three years that I am in a better financial way, that I can just say yes. If my son says, can he have a second biscuit? I want to be saying more yeses and a lot less noes.